When looking at the exhibition, the setup is truly interactive, inciting the imagination to make us feel as if we are in the shoes of the persons that he talks about. We are presented here with much more than a photo exhibit. We're invited to an audio and visual experience of a migrant's journey, the paths they decide to take, the risks they face, the labor opportunities at their destinations, and their relations with the families staying behind. There is not one migrant experience. They are countless. That experience is shaped by gender, economic situation, perhaps religious identity, disability, age, or sexual identity. And there's Christina, a young girl who's been left behind by her parents who went abroad to work so that they could send money back to make sure their children would have better opportunities. Then there's Kamal, who lost his wife and now needs to take care of his two children and struggles with the new role that he has been given. So I invite you all to experience all of these lives and others and feel how gender influences the different paths. The fact that women are leaving their own countries as heads of families, using different roles that they are used to and they are allowed within their societies, is an extremely important element of empowerment. That also will bring different logic when they go back to their countries, because migration today is a process of going and coming back at some point. We are truly honored to support this exhibition, and we do hope that it will be eye-opening for everyone visiting it that it will convince us even more that gender equality should remain top priority in our joint policy agendas.